Okay, so what we are going to start working on today is uh, we are going to make uh, some mittens uh, out of yarn, all right? And so you've got a piece of a poster board. I'll supply that for you. And what we want to do is you're going to put your hand down. Uh, we can have it maybe more towards the corner, all right? We want our fingers together, and we want the thumb just sticking out slightly. And I want you to trace around it, but you don't have to go around each finger. We kind of want to make that kind of more rounded like a mitten. All right. Now you're going to do the same with the other hand. All right. Keep them kind of close. If you need somebody to help you with your other hand, by all means, get some help. All right. And we should have two mittens traced out from there. All right. So you're going to cut these out so that you will have two pieces similar to this one, all right? And then you're going to need some glue, and we're going to get some scraps of yarn, all right? And we are going to start to glue those down. So the nice part about this is you can start anywhere, but we want to try to layer the um, string so that it goes one right next to the other. So I've got my bead. So I just made a nice line with the glue, and then I'm going to pick a color, all right? And I'm going to take that color, and I'm going to lay it right down into the glue. Now, if it's a long piece like this, I can trim it down just a little bit, but it is okay to have uh, some ends hanging off of the edge, all right? And then, for right now anyway, and then I'm going to go either above it or below it, with another bead and I've got a different color. You can have the same color. You can have multicolor, but I'm going to glue that right next to it. If I want that to just hang off like that, that's fine. I am just trying to get those as close together as possible. So I've started one for the other hand here and you can uh, work out a pattern if you want. You can lay them down randomly if you want, but we are basically just going to Put those beads of glue down and then start layering it one at a time with some different string. Don't forget to do the thumbs, all right? Maybe that's where some of your smaller scraps can go. Um, but we want to make sure that we start putting a nice thin bead and do the thumbs as well, all right? When this is all done and you've got it all glued down and it's dried, we will have some extra on the back and you guys can try trimming it or you can ask for some help. Uh, we're gonna go around and trim the extra off of the edges. Make sure it's all dry. It will be a lot easier to trim when it all gets dried up. And then that will get us some nice smooth edges. And we will have a nice design for our mitten. So you're going all the way up to the top here and we want to come down pretty far. If you've got some kind of wonky wrist like I've got, we can trim it so that it's a little bit more uh, rounded at the bottom so that it looks more like mittens from there. And we want to fill them up with some nice colorful uh, yarn for our nice colorful design for our mittens. Uh, when you got scraps, just keep them off to the side because those are some small scraps that you might be able to use to put on your thumb or some areas that have some open space. All right? So uh, take your time with that. Uh, make sure you're following directions and try to get them as close as you can and fill up the whole space with your colorful yarn. All right? I'll see you guys next time.